This is my favorite picture of me and my dad. Priceless photos help Amory Bailey feel close to her dad. It just makes me happy because I feel like there's still parts of him that I have. The nine-year-old now lives with her grandparents after her dad died of an overdose at age 29. He died from um, a polysubstance overdose, which had meth, heroin, Xanax, and fentanyl in it. That combo of drugs ended Daniel Bailey's 12-year battle with addiction, one where he was often homeless, living along train tracks. When the sheriff pulled in my driveway and I looked out there and saw that he wasn't in the back seat of the car, I, I had a gut feeling. And then when he told me, I, I ran into the house and just dropped to my knees and started screaming. And I screamed and cried. And, uh, and then I started puking. And it was, it was the most heart-wrenching, soul-crushing experience that anybody could ever experience. I'm convinced of that. It, it's just because that wasn't, that's not how our story was supposed to end. Two years later, their story is just beginning. A new chapter of awareness and hope. I've learned that when you deal with trauma and you turn to substance use, people have a stigma and they judge you. And that judgment and that stigma is what prevents people from getting help. Ann Breeding is now on a mission to help as many families as she can. Her annual walk, Steps of Hope, happening this weekend, works to end the stigma of overdoses and support families dealing with addiction. We just don't want other people going through that same thing that we've been through before. While Daniel's death has brought darkness, his family is finally starting to see the light of their impact. It's crazy how something so shattering and devastating, there's beauty from ashes. Laura Terrell, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.